It really is a pleasure to see you in this context, Ingrid. Say cheese. Damn it, you look beautiful. Can you give us a little more information surrounding the deficits that you're running this year? Ooh, gosh. We don't really like to talk about money. We find it a little gauche. This is a budget meeting. Well, most of our files are in these boxes if you really want to take a look at how much that we've spent. Why don't we just dig in and see what we're up against? Yes, and thank you. We really appreciate your help. Are you tipping me? Is that 100 euros? Walter Gunderson served Pawnee for 39 years. And as per his final wish, his body will lie in state in the city council chambers for a day, which is just a real cool thing for a public space. Also, he sent us a brief video message to be played for this event. Hello, Pawnee. My time in office has come to an end. A lot has been done, but I wasn't really doing very much. I wasn't paying attention most of the time. Fortunately, the citizens of Pawnee didn't pay attention either. So uh, if there's credit to take, I will humbly take it. And if there is blame, it's your fault. Thank you. And goodbye forever. Uh, OK. Well, that was really something. Let's see, I can't figure this thing out. Can you help me? Yeah, just hang on a second, Bobby. That ink all over my hands, the pen thingy came off the chain. I don't get it! What are you doing? Oh, Leslie! Well, since you decided to drag my name through the mud on TV, I figured why not return the favor? Carl, could you quietly quiet down for a second and please tell me what's going on quietly, okay? In a quiet voice. A citizen handed in a very interesting home video that I think the people of Pawnee will find very interesting. Take a peek at this. Keep your eyes on the creek. There he is. Oh, this is my favorite part. Not willing to share with a dog. So it would appear that park security was not to blame after all. OK, look, I have a proposition for you. Fine, I'll have sex with you in exchange for That's the tape. That's not what I'm saying, OK? Just listen to what I have to say. I directly oversee 1,200 people. I have a staff of creative geniuses that will not stop working until we win this bid. Leslie, I, I couldn't find that file you wanted, but I did find a file called Bird Census 1980. And it's empty. Get out of here, Ed. I fired you. Right. If anybody wants to hang, I will be at Subway. He's very stupid. So far, so good. I'll admit it. Things are going surprisingly well. And pack it up. It's over. We're screwed. He brought his girlfriend? He wasn't supposed to bring his girlfriend, Ben. Oh, Ben. Your father brought his little plaything. Hi, Benny. Hey, Dad. Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Uh, hi, Ulani. Thought you weren't coming. Ulani is my girlfriend, and she's important to me. And I need her here. Ulani, hi. I'm Leslie. What a wonderful surprise. We're so happy that you're here. What the hell, Steve? They didn't know I was coming? We didn't know it was spring break. <laughs> OK, thanks, everybody, for coming. I'm so sorry you all have to go home. Hey, Red Vines, anyone? We're a Twizzlers family. Do you really expect me to believe that? What has he got, a cute wimping out? No, he has kidney stones. We have proof. Yeah, I, I, I took a video of him at the hospital an hour ago. I feel like I never gave Miles Davis proper shrift. Like, I just didn't get into it. I love but you, the good babe. news is, I'm here to accept the key on his behalf. Boy, it's just a real shame it had to happen. Today, of all days, damn it! Ron. Ron. Last name? Done. Is that your name, or are you telling me you're finished talking? Both. Done and done. <laughs> <laughs> I like Ron. OK, Eagleton Ron, tell me a little about yourself. Well, I love the outdoors, love nature. Amen. I'm a big believer in environmental conservation, recycling and composting and the like. I'm a yoga nut. 
and I'm a nut nut. <laughs> they make delicious milks, man. And I'm a vegan, of course. Slowly working towards full freaking vegan. Hmm. What in God's name is freaking vegan? You only eat vegetables that have been thrown out in people's dumpsters. Sir, you can't go in there. Aha! I caught you. Hey, it's Tom. What the hell are you doing? What am I doing? What are you doing here? Dr. Saperstein is giving me a sonogram in his doctor's office for women because I'm pregnant. Oh my God. You're John Ralphio's dad. Mm -hmm. You're the one that's trying to put me out of business. Well, look at that, Mr. Haverford. You tracked me down. Looks like your detective skills are a lot better than your tween high-end fashion rental skills. And Chris, can we have the room, please? No, you certainly cannot. Dr. Saberstein, why are you doing this? What did I ever do to you? You know exactly why I'm doing this. You destroyed my family. First, you screwed my son out of your business, and then you stole my daughter's virginity. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're serious? Deadly serious. According to my daughter, you broke her heart. Then you smashed up her BMW. I had to buy her a new one so she could drive to divinity school. Let me tell you something, mister. You attack a Saperstein, you face my wrath. Be so sure about this, Tiny Tom, that I will crush you like the bug you are. <gasps> and there it is, the heartbeat. Everything sounds perfect. Oh, this is the moment we were dreaming of. You and me and our baby. And Tom. And his weird feud with our doctor. Yeah. Oh, that's a big cheering section. Okay, that's Kongorzal from Mongolia. She grew up in a hut that was entirely made of ice and mud. Then she became their mayor, then their police chief, and their best wolverine wrangler. I love her. Oh, hi. You must be Leslie Nope. I'm Oli oh. Donson. I'm oh. one of the honorees. Oh, look at your face. What? It's just so symmetrical. Oh, thanks. You know, we all have that in Denmark. Oh, you're from Denmark, of course. Yeah. Well, what part of Denmark are you from? I'm from Silkeborg, you know. It's not one of the most perfect places in the world, but I love it. And it loves me. <laughs> and look what they've done for me. They made a statue of you. Yes. <laughs> wow. Is that goat cheese? Good cheese, I, Leslie. It is made out of goat cheese. We have a lot of it. And after tonight's event, they're gonna consume me with crackers. They just love me. What about your town? Well, Pawnee, Indiana is a m wonderful town and I love it, but they hate me and they're trying to kick me out of office. One time they made a, a pinata of my face <laughs> and then everybody in the town came and took turns hitting it with a stick and they filled it with broccoli, just to add insult to injury. <laughs> but <laughs> politics, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that was the best lunch I ever had. I have to see the photos that you took. I didn't take any photos. What, Grant? Come on! Leslie, you're treating those people like they're your heroes. They could be your peers. Look, I really hope you take the job, but we're at the end of the line here. I need a decision by tomorrow. Okay, that's fair. I mean, I would be insane not to take the job, but I'm just having some trouble thinking about leaving Pawnee. Hey, here's someone who may be able to convince you. Hello, Mrs. Obama. Hey, Grant, how oh. you doing? Doing good. This is Leslie Nope. She's considering a job with us running the new Midwest Bureau in Chicago. Well, you know how I feel about Chicago. Yeah, you are from Chicago, so you like it. Uh, that's right, and we need passionate people like you in our national parks. You know they get hundreds of millions of visitors each year. Are you nodding because you agree with me? Yes, I do agree with you. I agree with you on all things throughout history until the end of time forever. You and Grant work together? Yeah, we work together a lot. He's helped me integrate the Let's Move program into our national parks, you know, getting kids outside, rock climbing, hiking. Wow, that's really, really incredible. Great work. I'm sorry I'm talking so loud. I'm getting louder now and I can't stop. My apologies. Just, I don't know. Can I high-five you? Yeah, well, I hope you take the job. Change happens one person at a time. Good to meet you. <sighs> Again, think it over. <laughs>